Greetings, and welcome to Heal Talk with Tuesdays with Lisa. How are you? It's so good to be together, isn't it? Well, today's session is going to be about uh, emotions, emotions stored in our body, and uh, how we can release them. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lisa Bubari. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, and yes, a speaker. Today's session is uh, about the emotions that truly we store in our body and uh, all the diseases and the discomfort that we feel. Because as you know, as you may be aware, that our muscles have memory. And throughout the years, emotions get trapped. They get trapped in our muscles. Uh, they get trapped within ourselves. And for whatever reason, when we have a discomfort, dis-ease, uh, blocks that we cannot move forward in life, um, we feel struggle. We feel uh, a block. And some of those emotions can be from hurt and pain from long time ago, from childhood times, and we hold on to it. We hold on to it without realizing it. So it is stuck in the body and the pain, and we get to the point of doing the same thing over and over, not realizing why we are going through uh, in life hurt, hurting with diseases. And let me give you an example. All the things that are happening when we do hypnotherapy is to delve within our subconscious mind to find out why we do certain habits or behaviors and how we can improve ourselves. So a part of hypnotherapy is to delve into the subconscious from the conscious mind. Consciously, we look, listen, and learn. And as you are uh, aware, and I've been talking about it, our subconscious mind stores our emotions, stores all the information that we have placed in there from the day that we were born, everything that we looked, listened, and learned. And the next thing that our subconscious mind does is bring back all the information. It's like that recall or the rewind that we do. When we tap into the subconscious mind is to reveal parts of our emotions, the blocks, the habits, the behaviors that we have been holding on to that in a way has not benefiting us or perhaps it's not benefiting us today. And that's when we want to make the change. So I ask you, have you not had any type of a habit or a behavior that you want to change? We all do. There are so there is so much um, from speaking in public, from feeling confident, from our self-esteem, from the things that we remember as a child, little memories that come trickling in. And each one of those memories, each one of the things that we feel are just small little emotions. So here's one of the examples. When I was a little kid, and I mean little, very young, I remember uh, at the corner of our home, there was this triangle couch that was at the corner of the room and my grandmother was a bit heavy and she was sitting in it 
I don't know what happened. And we, she came to stand up and this entire chair, just maybe because it was forward, just flipped over. And here's my grandmother going upside down. She hit her head to the wall and her feet were all the way up and just dangling like this. And all I could do was just stand there and laugh and laugh and laugh. So that image, I know she hurt her head and this was her reaction. She was in pain, but she was laughing and I was laughing. So laughter is a release of something that we see that could be traumatic and the same way as some people go into giggling and there are people who start crying and there are the ones, so many of us, that when we see something, the shock of it, it's so bad or so grand that we don't know how to react. So what do we do? We just freeze. So every single one of those emotions are stored, stored in the mind, in the body, and the emotions of that little girl and little boy. Hello, Amy. Hello, Greg. Welcome. Have you experienced something like this? Can you remember and if it's a yes, do a thumbs or a shout out or say, just express in one way or another if you've experienced something like this. If you are watching this live, thank you. And for the ones who are going to be watching this as a repeat, I want you to know that I will answer any and all questions. I go back and truly uh Respond to all the thoughts, ideas, anything that you want me to discuss. But for now, can you recall anything that you have stored? Or even if you have a child and you see your children doing something and you are in awe with them and you just bank that memory and we've talked about banking memories and putting that save button right so as we do this isn't this beautiful someone in the background is playing in great music and how do we cope with emotions that instead of expressing we hold on to it so as we hold on to it it's stored now that thing, that memory, like my grandmother and me laughing and what happened afterwards, I remember, I think it, she got up, I helped her up and we were still laughing and she asked me, why is it that I was just laughing instead of going and helping and I couldn't respond because I was in tears from laughing. Now, here's a seven-year-old girl or six-year-old that I reacted something like that. And we all have a different reaction. But the emotions that are stored in our subconscious mind linger. And through hypnotherapy, we delve into the subconscious to release trauma. We release ideas and stories and images, words, words that impact us from the time that we are young, from the time that we repeat words that sometimes we don't even know what it is. If you're a parent, I'm sure you've heard your children say words that comes out of their mouth and you wonder, where did they learn that from? Well, there's always the media. There's always when you talk and when you say things. And they are what? Like sponges. 
They are a sponge that everything they see, they hear, they repeat. You see, it gets stored just like seeing, hearing, storing. It gets stored. And because young kids do not have the filter like us, they express it much faster. And they say it, repeat it, without having anything to analyze, reason, judge, and criticize. So what you see is what you get. There is not much of a filter in there. And that is why they say, when you want the truth, ask a kid. As children, not only we say it, but guess what? We also have learned, and because we observe our parents, we have learned and we learn to store the information and not express it. Because somewhere, someone told us, you're not supposed to cry, you're not supposed to express, and the secrets are to stay. So kids hold on to secrets without knowing why. Because they observe their parents. And most of the children that hold on to secrets is the children that see traumatic things happen. When it's funny, we laugh, we express. When it's traumatic, there is an information stored in that child. It's as if that knowing that they must hold on to that information. And that is why for so many years in life, until adulthood, they hold on to that information. And because it's stored in the muscle, stored in their psyche, stored in the nervous system, the body has to react. The body has to manifest it out and all this disease, all the discomfort, it's got to come out somewhere, somehow. And often we suppress it again. We suppress it with um, crutches that we use by stuffing it in more, not realizing how much we stuff inside as an adult to shut the information that was stored a long time ago. If you have experienced it, thank you. Thank you for acknowledging it. Thank you for you and your thumbs up. Yes. This ease, this ease is the this ease within you. There are so many ways that you can express it and release it and let it go. Because you are deserving of being more in light, being lighter in body, and releasing, peeling away all the layers. Because it's time for you to be authentic for you to find a place within yourself and a place that you can share and release and express and let go. Let go of secrets. You know, one of the things that I say is secrets can make you sick. And I'm not saying for you to go walking around and releasing all the secrets of the past. But finding someone that you can confide in. A friend that you can speak with. A therapist that you can go to. Someone who can help you delve in. And all the secrets that you were keeping... I want you to realize 
everyone has secrets. Everyone has stored some kind of an information that either they know it or as a child we stored it in there unknowingly. And it's time for you to let go and be, live your life to the fullest and go after the things that you can peel away, open the doors, open all the blocks so you can move forward in life. Two things hold us back, secrets and our own fears. Fears of expectations. Fears of what will. What if I give out the secret and hurt someone I love? What if I reveal this information and the person that I really love will not speak to me again? So, is holding all that information, all the dis-ease, all the secrets, all the things that you have been holding on to helping you? If it is, keep doing it. But I would suggest for you to find a modem, a form somewhere, an outlet you can speak, you can share, and you can let go. Let go of it from inside you, around you, peel away, and release yourself from the burdens of the secrets. Allow your body to manifest love. That energy, that negative energy is truly hard. It's negative. It's disheartening. It's blocking you. And it could be quite heavy. Through hypnotherapy, I help you delve deep and direct and be free. Be free of holding on to this for you. No one will know. Here's another way you can do this. Sit down and write a letter. Truly, write a letter. No one is to know. One of the ways that I ask my clients to do is this. And you start as if truly writing a letter to the person that you may have angst with, that they have hurt you in the past, or you wanted to speak to them and share your thoughts, ideas, concepts, hurt, guilt, shame, whatever it is that you no longer want to keep it in. And you start with the dear whoever. And you write. It's not about all releasing, all telling that person off or saying the F words, the F bomb and everything. It's about what you feel. That by holding all the feelings inside you, how is it benefited you and how is it hurt you? So say, I feel, and write your feelings. That all this time I wanted to share this and write how it's affected you. That all the feelings that you have stored in there, even say thank you to your body and ask your body to begin sharing it, releasing it. It's about making that part null and void. That once you release it and share it, write it, all the secrets all the pain will absolutely have no bearing in your life from this day forward. So as you do that, once you finish that letter, and it can be one paragraph, it could be one page, and I've had clients 
that have written pages and pages. Just releasing it. And then sit back. And as you believe you are done, you sign it. Sign it with love. Always ending it with love. Because it is your love that you want to manifest, to bring forth from this day forward. Because it is what you want to be from this day forward. You want to be healthy. You want to be lighter. You want to be loving and lovable. So that all the diseases from the past is released from your mind, your heart, and your body. That you can handle things better from this day forward and see beyond and speak lovingly and as you sign it you sign your name the same way as you sign a check or a loving card for someone you close it and you take it outside somewhere safe maybe to the ocean maybe in the backyard, or go on a hike. And you burn that letter. The ritual of burning that letter in a safe place, make sure you are doing it in a safe place, that there is no wind, that there is nothing else that will catch fire, because it's small, it's contained. Make sure that you do it in a contained place. And when you see the fire come and burn the letter, look at it, go up. Let the smoke go up. And as you see it go up, send it to the angels. Send it to the cloud and let it go. <sighs> let it go. And let the bygones be bygones as you feel lighter and stronger, loving and lovable. Evoke what was, embrace what is today, right here, right now, the reality, and evolve to what will be, the future and what you want to transform to. Because you do matter. I thank you for this time of Heal Talk with Tuesdays, Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, God bless you. Keep manifesting the best. Release it and let it go. And remember that you do matter. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Hamas Gain. Thank you, Robert, Amy, and every one of you that follows me, supports me. And I would like to close this session by saying, go to my website. Become a member of our monthly newsletters and join our ladies join our Heal Within, the 3E event coming up in March. And the first 97 people who sign up to be a part of this amazing event that we have coming up on March 11th at the Embassy Suites in Glendale with incredible speakers so that you can transform that you can evoke what was and embrace what is and evolve to the best because that is the day dedicated to women. It is a day rewarding you. It's not about the labels. It's not about the awards, but a day dedicated to you to reward yourself and ignite the best in you. All the information is at our website. Until next week, I bid you goodbye.